Hey, how's it going? I'm Dylan from Stupid Raisins, and in today's video, I'll show you how to draw lines in Final Cut Pro. If you wanna point something out or connect parts, maybe of a diagram in your video, or you want to spice up a title, I'll show you how to do that with lines. In this video, I'll show you how to draw lines using the beam, shapes, and color solid generators in Final Cut Pro. I'll also show you how to draw a line using a custom image. And at the end, I'll show you a little known trick to draw lines using text. Go to your titles and generators browser, scroll down to the generators and go to the background section. You'll see this one called beam. Drag and drop that to your timeline. And you'll see we've got a line pretty quickly. Select the generator and go to the generator's inspector. Turn the glow down, leave the size as is, and then tweak the hue. This is how you change the color. You can cycle through all the different colors. Let's go with this green. You can also desaturate it if you want to have just a grayscale version, or you can oversaturate it, which gets rid of that kind of white line in the middle. You can also change um, the center. All right, so now we've got a line on there, but how do we draw it on? Let's go to the beginning and go to the video inspector. And we want to draw it from left to right. Let's use this crop section. Take the right slider and slide it all the way until we don't see the line anymore. Add a keyframe and then go forward in time about a second and change that right slider back to the way it was before zero let's see what we've got it draws on not bad you can use this crop animation technique on any of the other examples i show you next let's make one with a shapes generator go to elements and then drag and drop shapes onto your timeline select the shapes generator, go to the inspector, and select rectangle. Next, go to the video inspector, and let's use scale X to make this longer. How about like that? But it's kind of thick. It's more like a rectangle than it is a line, so let's use scale Y to make it thinner. There we go. The scaling kind of makes this weird shadow over here so go back i'm going to turn the drop shadow off there we go we can use the same animation technique as cropping as we did before but this time i want to use an animation on the scale go to the beginning of the clip and set a keyframe on your scale x parameter go in about oh a second and set another keyframe use this left arrow to go to the previous keyframe and set it to zero. Let's see what we've got. The line animates from the middle outward. Looks pretty good. It's a little slow. Select the generator, press control V. That brings up our keyframe animator. I want it to be faster, so I'm going to take the second keyframe and move it closer to the first keyframe. I'll press control V to hide the keyframe editor. And this is what it looks like now. That's better. That's a good looking drawn line. We can also make a line out of a solid color. Go to the solid section of the generators and drag and drop the custom generator into your timeline. Go to the generator inspector and pick your color. Let's go for like a, let's go for like a light green. Let's see how that looks. Then go over to the effects and go to masks and select draw mask. Drag and drop it onto your generator. Click to add a start point and then add another one to create a line press enter go to the video inspector and you'll see your mask properties here open up control points set your y values to zero and now we have a perfectly straight line across in the center but we can barely see it turn up feather and now we see a line but it's kind of fuzzy it looks like the beam from before what if we want a solid color line to get a solid looking line set fall off to negative 400. now let's draw this line on 
Let's go from right to left this time. Go to the beginning of the clip and set a keyframe for control points. This left one is point one and this is point two. So let's adjust this value until point one is right on point two. Go forward in time just a little bit, about a little less than a second. And now put point one back to what it was before. This is what it looks like. All right, the line draws, but you know what? It starts off as a dot, and I don't want it to start off as anything. I want it to be nothing. So go to the beginning of the clip and set a keyframe. Move forward one frame and set another keyframe. Now use this, go back to the previous keyframe and set it to zero. Let's take a look. Looks pretty good. We don't have that dot at the beginning anymore and the line draws on. It's a little bit slow, so I'm gonna use the keyframe editor by pressing Control V and I'm going to pull this keyframe closer and Control V to turn off the keyframe editor. And now let's take a look. What's cool about this technique is you can use it on any of the generators. Take a look at these backgrounds here. You could do it on these clouds and have a line running through those, or go to textures. You could do the same thing on these different kind of textures, like this stone here. You could have a line of stone draw on using the same technique as here. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. I've added this image of a line I made, and now I wanna animate it. This works really well if you have a line with a transparent background. Let's animate this line. We could use the crop technique I showed you earlier. The problem with that is it gives it a nice sharp line and I want it to look more like it's being handwritten on. So that's not going to work. We could use the scale technique, but that just kind of makes it grow and it looks like it's spreading out on the paper. So that's no good either. Let's try the mask technique we used earlier. Go to the beginning of the clip and then drag and drop draw mask onto your clip. Add a control point at the beginning, at the left, and then one at the right, press enter. Now look, we can still see kind of the line there. Go to the video inspector and under draw mask, let's set fill opacity to zero. Okay, we don't see the line anymore, good. Set a keyframe for fill opacity, move forward one frame in the timeline and change the fill opacity to 100. Open up the control points and let's change these to zero so that we have it centered just in the middle. All right, go to the very beginning of the clip and add a keyframe. I want to go from left and right, so I want to move point two on top of point one. Double click on point two, press the left arrow, and then add a negative sign. Press enter. Now they're stacked on each other. Let's move forward in the timeline a little bit. Double click on the value, and then press backspace to get rid of the negative sign and press enter. Now adjust the feather until we see the entire line. Looks pretty good, but it's kind of fast. Select the clip, press Control V to open up the keyframe editor, and let's spread out. Adjust the keyframe to make it drawn a little more slowly. There we go. And let's look at the lead. You'll notice it's not a straight line, a hard line. We've got a little bit of a fade, which is good. It makes it look a little bit more like it's being written on by hand. Here's my favorite method for drawing lines in Final Cut Pro. It's really quick and easy, and you don't have to keyframe or add masks. It's using text. Go up to the build in, build out section in Final Cut Pro titles and drag and drop fade onto your timeline. Select the title. And let's replace the text with underscores. So press shift and then the hyphen key. 
and let's draw a few on. There we go, we've got ourselves a line. That looks pretty good. Go to the titles inspector and change the in spread to about 25. And then shorten it a little bit down to 30. Do the same thing for the out spread, 25. And let's shorten it to 30. Let's take a look. That looks pretty good, right? So what it does is it fades on each underscore a little bit at a time. And you can kind of see that here where we're getting some stepping. If you want to remove that kind of step look, reduce the size of the font. So we'll go down to 40 and just add more of these underscores. That looks pretty good. If you want some different styles like a dash, you can change the font. For example, here are some dashes. Now it looks like this. And of course you can change the color of this. Go down to face, click show, and right here we have a color picker. So we can try different colors if we want. I want this to be thicker. So I made the font size bigger and now I'm going to delete some of these underscores. There we go. Now we have a stylized dash line that draws on and it draws off. Now that you know how to draw lines in Final Cut Pro, I want to show you how to add text. I made another video called How to Add Text to Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out. I promise you'll like it.